Hey guys, this is Jamie with PC Monkey. We're bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. Uh, today we're going to show you how to factory reset your Windows 10 laptop so that you don't, uh, and, and, and to do it in a way where you don't need a recovery CD or a recovery disk. Uh, where the first way we're going to show you is from your desktop here in Windows. The next way we're going to show you is a kind of workaround. Not a lot of people know. Uh, you can still factory reset your laptop if you can't access Windows. If your computer isn't loading right, if, if, if you can't reach your desktop, if you forgot your password. Um, we'll show you in the next half of the video how to factory reset from before getting to Windows. So I'll have the timestamp in the description in case you want to jump to that. Um, but if you're in Windows now, um, oh yeah, keep in mind, always check the description in, in our videos. We have related video links. Uh, information, supplemental information, and also frequently asked questions. Um, if we hear people asking the same question over and over again, we put the answers in there to save you guys some time. Uh, so if you're in your desktop, uh, I'll, I'll zoom in here a little bit for you. If you're in your desktop right now, go down to the search bar on the bottom left and just simply type in factory reset or start typing it anyway. The computer should take over. Reset this PC under system settings. That's what we want. Enter. Reset this PC, you're going to click on Get Started. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And then you get your first option here. You have Keep My Files and Remove Everything. Keep My Files is what we call a soft reset. It removes apps and settings but keeps your personal files. This is good if you're just looking to clean up a little bit, uh, free up some space but not lose all your data. The next one, Remove Everything, removes all of your personal files, apps, and settings. This is a hard reset. This is if your operating system's a little screwed up, if, if your computer's not working right, if you want to start from scratch and start fresh. That's what you would do, and you would lose all your data there, keep in mind. So you would choose one of these, follow the prompts. It's pretty self-explanatory, and it's pretty easy to do from inside your desktop. However, if you uh, can't access Windows, if you can't get into your desktop, uh, and you still need to factory reset, we're going to show you how to, how to do that now. Um, a lot of people don't know you can do this. Um, but there, I'll have in the description the various F keys, the various function keys you need for the various models. I have an HP here, so I'm going to be using F11. I know that Dell, I think, is F8. Um, so I'll, I'll put in the description the various function keys you'd want for your computer. But what you would do is you'd want to start your computer and start hitting your function key. Again, HP in my case, so I'm doing F11. If you have a Dell, you'd hit F8, and I'll have the other ones down in the description below after uploading the video. But you're going to tap on F11 for an eternity, apparently, because it's not catching. Just keep tapping. Oh, nice. Did it take me where I want to go? Yes, it did. All right. So choose an option, it says. I'll, I'll zoom in again. So that's me to choose an option, continue, use the device, troubleshoot, turn off. We're going to shoot for troubleshoot. So your mouse still should work at this point. So scroll your mouse over. And, and, and this is before you ever got to your Windows. So click on troubleshoot. Reset this PC is what we're going to go for. And again, it gives you those same two options, soft reset, hard reset. Keep your files, remove everything. So again, if, if you're going for the hard reset, you click on remove everything, um, and you would follow those prompts from there. So these are two ways, one from inside your operating system, and then one from before if you can't access your operating system. Again, I'll have the various function keys in the description. Uh, check it out for frequently asked questions. If you do have any questions or comments, leave them in the, in the uh, comment section. We try to get back to you at least twice a day. Uh, please like this video if it was helpful. Please share. And if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer work, uh, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.